One day, uh, two officers came in. I know their names there, R.G. Cole and uh, Captain Coots, and said, hey, uh, we are starting a new branch uh, called Paratroops, and we need volunteers. The only way you're going to get in is to volunteer. And uh, Lieutenant Cole said, and you're going into a charm circle. That caught me. You got jump pay. You didn't have to do K KP. You didn't have to stay in guard. That caught me. And so, uh, for some reason, I, d I didn't like to be three feet off the ground. And uh, so I volunteered, and, and, uh, and we left right away for Fort Benning. And we got off the train at Fort Benning, and they said, we're going to take you down so you can see a jump. So they were qualifying some men uh, at the Lawson Field, which was close by the barracks and looked up and here's this fella caught on the tail of the plane. He flew around some three hours before they got him down. And what the whole thing was is that they were using a, a nine foot uh, static line. Now the static line is attached to the plane, it's attached to you, it pulls your chute out. And uh, they, they hadn't made their mind how long that was going to be. But uh, the men were bunking their head on the tail and a few other things like that. And so that was the last time they used a nine-foot static line. From then on, it was 12 feet.